you know, just echo what the, the leader said. We had a really um, good discussion back and forth, a lot of opportunity to ask questions, and uh, our members uh, conveyed to the uh, Israeli Prime Minister uh, our strong support for their efforts to defeat once and for all and get rid of the influence of Hamas uh, in that region of the world. Here at home, for the past three years, um, President Biden and his administration have been pursuing their costly and radical Green New Deal, which uh, not only has lessened our energy security, but it has increased the costs for consumers across this country. Uh, in fact, uh, since President Biden took office, energy costs have risen on average 35 percent, 35 percent. And of course, this week, they're back at it. Uh, the President has announced his mandate for the American people to drive electric vehicles. Now, the average cost of an electric vehicle is $52,000. And um, Americans have seen their real income since Biden took office go down by 4.2 percent. So their incomes haven't kept up with the rate of inflation. We all know since he took office, inflation, the cumulative rate of inflation is 18.6 percent. And so um, he's asking the American consumer to buy electric vehicles, $52,000 per electric vehicle, at a time when their real income has gone down since he's been in office, all in pursuit of a Green New Deal fantasy. And so uh, we have a number of our members who have filed legislation, uh, Senators Ricketts, um, Sullivan, Crapel all have uh, legislation out there that would roll back these onerous, costly, uh, and unrealistic mandates that this president has put forward on the American people to force them into electric vehicles, something that is not realistic in many parts of the country, including where I'm from, where you drive long distances and have extreme temperatures. It's not realistic. It is, it is unaffordable, and it is an ill-advised policy and we will do everything we can to try and see that it gets stopped.